Your brain isn't fully asleep, but it's not awake either. It's stuck in glitch mode. Sleepwalking is like your body hits play, but your mind is still buffering. And it's not just walking. We're talking eating, moving furniture, even driving, all while technically still asleep. It's wild. Here's what's really going on. When we sleep, our brain switches through stages, like layers of a dream lasagna. Deep sleep is where you're supposed to just chill, fully offline. But for some people, the transitions between these stages don't go smoothly. The result? The brain wakes up just enough to control movement, but not enough to spark full awareness. So imagine your brain is a house, the lights in the kitchen might flicker on, the fridge hums, maybe the TV blares in the background, but nobody's really home. That's a sleepwalker, moving through their house like a shadow, not realizing the show's still rolling in a dream. And here's the kicker. You can literally have your eyes open, walking around with a blank look on your face like a living screensaver and not remember a single thing in the morning. It happens more in kids because their sleep systems are still under construction, but adults can experience it too, especially with stress, alcohol, or sleep deprivation in the mix. It's like the body's stuck in manual mode when it's supposed to be on autopilot. People have woken up on the front lawn in the kitchen with sandwich ingredients all over the counter. One guy woke up on a moving train in his pajamas with no ticket, seriously. And no, it's not just curable with a loud noise or a horror movie style wake up call. In fact, waking up a sleepwalker can be risky. You're snapping the brain into full awareness too suddenly, which can cause panic or even injury. So if you ever see a sleepwalker roaming around at 3 a.m. like a ghost unsure of its purpose, don't scream. Just guide them gently, like you're resetting a wandering robot back into sleep mode. Sleepwalking is the result of a brain caught in limbo, a midnight dance between deepest rest and half-awake instinct. It's eerie, fascinating, and honestly kind of beautiful. The body's still moving, even when the mind just isn't ready to return.